Close CRM tutorial for beginners. Hi guys, this is Speak About Digital and welcome to this video tutorial on how to use Close CRM, the all-in-one CRM for growing teams. Close CRM is a fast, modern, and simple CRM that lets you make more calls, send more emails, and close more deals in less time. In this tutorial, we'll cover everything from creating an account, adding new leads, and setting up sequences. We have a lot to cover in this video, so let's get started with the tutorial. To begin using Close CRM, the first step is to create an account. You will find the link down below in the description, so go to the description of this video and click on the first link you find there. This will take you to the correct home page. Once you're on the home page, click on the Start Your 14 Day Free Trial button. This action will redirect you to the registration page, where you can choose to sign up using your Google account or email address. The 14 day free trial does not require a credit card. Select the option that suits your preferences and proceed with the registration process. Once you have successfully signed up for a new account, the next step is to provide additional information about yourself. This may include details such as your phone number, company name, industry, number of salespeople, and your role within the organization. Adding leads to your closed CRM account is also crucial. The platform will automatically search for leads for you. You can select the desired leads by ticking the box next to each lead's email. Once you have finished selecting the leads, click on the Finish Setup button. After completing this setup, you will be directed to your account dashboard where you can begin utilizing Closed CRM's features and functionalities. Once you access your account dashboard in Closed CRM, you will notice a left menu that contains various tabs. Let's explore the important tabs in detail. At the top of the left menu, you will find your company name. Clicking on it will reveal a drop-down menu where you can manage your account, import leads, and invite people to your closed CRM workspace. The first tab is the inbox, where you can view all your items such as emails, calls, SMS, and tasks. Clicking on the inbox will expand it further into Done and Future options. Under the Done section, you will find all the items that have been marked as completed in your inbox. Under the Future section, you will see any snoozed items from your inbox that are scheduled to appear at a later time. The Opportunities tab helps you keep track of your deals. When you create deals, they will show up in this tab. The Opportunities tab further expands into Pipelines and Lists. In the Pipeline section, you can get an overview of your sales, leads, users, and other related metrics. In the List section, you can see the total number of opportunities, their total value, and the expected value. The Leads tab displays your leads along with their names, contacts, and their statuses. This tab allows you to manage and track your leads effectively. In the Contacts tab, you can view your contacts and interact with them through messaging and calls. It serves as a central hub for managing your contacts within Close CRM. The Sequences tab is where you can access and manage your sequences. If you haven't created any sequences yet, you will see a plus new sequence button that allows you to automate reaching out to your contacts by creating a new sequence. Under the Reports tab, you can gain insights into the activity within your closed CRM account. You can view various metrics such as created leads, outbound and inbound calls, sent and received emails, and opportunities. It also provides filters based on time, allowing you to view activities for today, this week, this month, and more. Additionally, you can make comparisons to previous periods such as last week or the same week last month. The Smart Views section allows you to access predefined views that help you quickly analyze specific categories of leads. You can find views such as untouched leads, leads to call, leads never emailed, and emails opened, among others. The Integration tab enables you to integrate closed CRM with other platforms such as HubSpot, Zoom, Zapier, Segment, and more. This allows you to streamline your workflows and leverage the power of various tools within a unified workspace. Lastly, the Settings tab provides options for managing your account and organization settings. You can customize various settings to tailor close CRM to your specific requirements. Now, let's see how to create a new lead in Close. To create a new lead in Close CRM, start by navigating to the left menu and locate the plus button next to the Leads tab. Click on it to initiate the lead creation process. Upon clicking the plus button, a pop-up window will appear where you need to enter the name of the company and the contact name in their respective fields. Once you have provided the necessary information, click on the Create Lead button. It may take a moment for the lead to be created. 
After creating the lead, you will be directed to the lead page. Here, you have the option to add the address of the lead by clicking on the plus address button. Additionally, you can change the status of the lead to reflect its current stage, such as potential, bad fit, qualified, customer, or interested. In the About section, you can add more details about the lead. This section allows you to provide additional information that may be relevant to the lead's profile. You can also assign tasks and opportunities to the lead from this page. If applicable, you can include the lead's title and contact details as well. Once you have provided all the necessary information accurately, click on the Save button to store the details of your lead. To access the lead you have just created, navigate back to the Leads tab. The newly created lead will be displayed at the top of the leads list, making it easily accessible for further management and follow-up. Now, let's see how to create a sequence in Close CRM. To create a new sequence in Close CRM, navigate to the left menu and click on the Sequence tab. This will take you to the Sequences page, where you can view all the existing sequences, whether they are active or archived. If you don't have any sequences yet, you will find a Plus New Sequence button that allows you to create a new one. Clicking on the plus new sequence button will open another page. In a pop-up window, you will be prompted to enter the name of the sequence. Once you have entered the name, click on the done button to proceed and you will be directed to the sequence page. On the sequence page, you will find different steps such as email, call, SMS, and assign user. You can also add a new step by clicking on the plus add step button. To schedule and automatically send an email as part of your sequence, click on the email step. This will bring up a right sidebar where you can select a shared email template or create a new template. Once you have provided the necessary details, click on Done to add the email step to your sequence. After adding the email step, you can continue adding more steps to your sequence by clicking on the Plus Add Step button. For example, if you want to include a call step, click on the Call option. The right panel will open, allowing you to set up the delay. Specify whether the call is required or optional, and configure other settings. Once you have completed the setup, click on Done to add the call step into your sequence. You can follow the same method to add other steps to your sequence as needed. Once you have added all the necessary steps, click on the Save button located at the top right corner of the page to finalize the creation of your sequence. Your newly created sequence will be displayed in the Sequence tab, showing its name, any pending actions, to do, the steps you have added, and various statistics such as active, bounced, and response rates. And there you have it, a beginner's guide to using Close CRM. If you want to try it out for yourself, you can sign up using the first link in the description. I would really appreciate that, thank you. I hope you found it useful and learned something new. So again, if you found this video helpful, please give me a thumbs up, and if you have any questions at all, please comment below. I try to answer all the comments the best I can. Thanks for watching.